So I got a question for all the MAGA people out there, all the Americans who want to make America great again. I got a question for you, seriously. I'll give you a choice. You can give Donald Trump a big donation. Just go into your bank account and write a big check. Give Donald Trump a big old donation. Or, behind door number two, you get the best hooker in New York once a month for the rest of your life. I thought so. You took door number two because the money would be better spent on hookers. I'm telling you, that's my opinion. So... Let me get this straight. The MAGA idiots are going to pay Donald Trump $355 million because, you know, Donald Trump's a billionaire and he wouldn't want to spend his billion, so he would want to spend his fans, $355 million of his fans' money because Donald Trump wants to hold on to his billion dollars. Let me get this straight. All I have to do is get plastic surgery, hair, hair implants, and learn how to be a full-blown narcissist and all my adoring fans will pay my bills and my fines for the rest of my life. Wow. Nice gig if you can get it. And if you can get it, tell me how. A nice gig if you can get it. And if you can get it, tell me how. Okay, let me see. Let me get this straight. I can drive 85 miles per hour in a 40 mile an hour speed zone, speed limit, and my online fans will pay my ticket and fine. Okay, that's cool. Let me see. I can cut down my neighbor's 200-year-old oak tree, and my online fans will pay my neighbor's pay my neighbor when he sues me. Oh, this is getting cool. Let me see. I can open up a bookstore and pay no taxes to the government for 10 years, and when I get caught, my fans will pay the fine. Damn, this is cool. I like this gig. Where can I sign up? Nice gig if you can get it. And if you can get it, tell me how. Don oh, don't get your hopes up, son. Uh, sorry, son. You have to be born into a rich family of con artists to get a gig like that. So go dig a ditch, kid. Okay, I'm not going to tell you that story back in 1984 when I went TDY to Hawaii and I went around the world. I mean, this, this is a family show. I, I, and, you know, I do want to keep it clean. But I think I'm not going too far off the edge there if I say, I'm wondering, back in 1960, I wonder how many Hong Kong working girls I could get for $76 million. I mean, that, that's how my mind works. I just, this is like economics 101. I bet you I could get top shelf, top of the line, creme de la creme, the best of the best. I mean, okay, I'm not going to go there. But really, can you just imagine? Because my imag uh, Donald Trump has spent $76 million, I hear, over the last two years on his attorney. Now, I, a correction. Donald Trump has not actually spent $76 million. I hear that all the MAGA idiots, yeah, all the MAGA morons who don't donate money, I hear they're the ones. They've, they've, they've literally paid $76 million, handed it over to Donald Trump, so Donald Trump could hand it over to those, what do you call those people with law degrees? Uh, this is a family show, like I said. But if you have any colorful names you'd like to tell us, just put it in the description. You know, names for uh, Better Call Saul. Better I like that show. Better call. So I'll go back to where we were at. Okay, so Donald Trump or his fans have spent $76 million on legal fees over the last two years. But here's where it really gets interesting. Apparently now they say that Donald Trump has $355 million in civil fines and fees and fraud. Anyhow, I don't know where they get these numbers, 355. Are they authorized to use the number 55? I don't think so. But anyhow, they're using the number 355 million. But this is what this video is about. Donald Trump's not going to spend $355 million. He probably doesn't even have $355 million. Here's the best part of the story. The MAGA idiots, yes, the MAGA morons are literally going to donate $355 million to Donald Trump so he can hand it over to Better Call Saul. <laughs> this is ridiculous at an alarming rate. So apparently, word on the street is that uh, Donald Trump and his daughter, Sweatshop Princess Ivanka, and some of the others, 
They all went down to the port of Miami because uh, it looks like a shipment of Donald Trump's golden tennis shoes had arrived. Came in from China. They wanted to supervise the arrival. But things got a little hairy. Uh, rumor has it that Ivanka asked the Secret Service to help load some boxes onto the truck. And, you know, things got a little awkward. And finally they just told her, we, we, we carry guns. I'm sorry, we don't carry boxes. Boy, oh boy, does time fly. I can't believe it was literally seven years ago, way back in 2017, when we used to make all those videos uh, laughing at the sweatshop princess. Remember, I haven't said sweatshop princess in over seven years. This is bringing back some fine memories. <laughs> Ivanka Trump. Ivanka Trump used to have all her shoes and all her dresses made in China, and then she would ship it into America, put the Trump name on it, and everybody was fooled. Not me, you dumb bastards. I'm not going to buy her stupid Chinese-made shoes. But uh, that was seven years ago. <laughs> seven years ago. Apparently, they didn't learn any lessons. The Trump family did not learn any lessons from seven years ago. Okay? This is America. We want shit made in America. But here we are. The Trumps are doing it again. Well, it's only February 17th, Saturday, 2024, and things are moving at a ridiculous rate at an alarming speed. I tell you, I mean, I wish I was clever enough to make this type of shit up, but I'm, unfortunately, I'm not that clever. Just when you think you've seen it all, Yes, just when you think you've seen it all, an ex-United States of America president, yes, the ex-so-called leader of the so-called free world, the ex-president hawking tennis shoes at Sneaker Con. <laughs> oh my God, I got a little cold. I wish I could laugh, but I, my cold, I can't laugh because I got a cold. I'm, Damn, 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 we're falling into a ball fire. Apparently he was booed, yes, he was booed when he tried to sell his special gold tennis shoes for $399, $399. Guess where they were made? You got it, China. You know everything's fake. When they're blaming everything on China, but the ex-president comes out and tries to sell a pair of gold tennis shoes that are made in China for $399, well, you know everything's fake. And I wonder what knucklehead in the MAGA corporation came up with this bright idea. Yeah, let's get the ex-president to sell some shoes. And who knows, maybe we can get the Secret Service to pitch in and help. <laughs> 